Hey, it's a great day for learning with Hamburg Middle School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated for the morning announcements. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, May 14th, 2020. Today's a day one. The answer to yesterday's library trivia question was Among the Hidden or the Shadow Children series. Highly recommend Among the Hidden. I've got to read the rest. Today's question is this. James Dashner wrote this dystopian series about 16-year-old Thomas, who wakes up with no memory and realizes he needs to work with others in the community so they can escape the mysterious maze. Can you identify this series? If you know the answer, email Mrs. Mulbert today. There are a huge amount of sports that you can sign up for next year by going to Family ID. The sports available to you as 7th and 8th graders, girls cheerleading, boys and girls cross country, girls field hockey, boys football, boys and girls golf, girls gymnastics, boys and girls soccer, girls swimming and diving, girls tennis, and girls and boys volleyball. I urge you to consider going out for a team. There's a team out there that can fit almost everybody even in sports you haven't considered. Trivia answer from yesterday that I gave you. Greycliff is the name of the estate on Lake Erie and Derby uh, that Franklin Lloyd Wright uh, designed for the Martin family. Making a list of things that I need to do once this whole thing is over, visiting Darwin Martin and Greycliff certainly makes the cut. Trivia for today, ice cream on the line next year. They've been showing all sorts of classic Sabres games over the last few weeks. They've been a ton of fun to watch. On Tuesday, they showed a playoff game versus the Canadians from 1975. It was awesome. The Canadians and the Sabres were two of the final four teams left in the Stanley Cup playoffs that year. The Sabres have made it to that round several other times in their team's history as well. And that's where your question comes from. Your question involves all the times in the Buffalo Sabres history that they made it to the final four teams in the NHL playoffs. Sometimes it's called the semifinals, sometimes it's called the conference championships. I want to know the year that they made that final four grouping. I want to know the team that they played. I want to know the coach of the Sabres at the time. And I want to know the result. Did we win or lose? Send those answers to me and ice cream. Next time we're back at school, again, I'll travel as far as the high school for that for the 8th graders who are looking to answer. A word on uh, orientation for Hamburg Middle School. If you're a 5th grader and you're watching this, keep an eye on your email. Next week we'll be sending you some information regarding our orientation that we're going to be doing early on in June for those students who are going to be entering 6th grade for next year. Last thing, our joke for the day. A photon checks into a hotel and is asked if he needs any help with his luggage. No thanks, said the Photon. I'm traveling light. Make it a thrilling Thursday, folks, and ask yourself, how can you be an 11 today? Take care, everybody.